Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Apple with Mem. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the sheer number of notes, ideas, and tasks you have to manage? What if you could streamline everything that's important into one single note? Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. It's called the single note second brain, and today I'm going to show you how to build one using Mem. Intrigued? Well, stick around because this could be the game changer you've been looking for. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how you can set up a second brain that you can manage pretty much entirely from one single mem. And the idea behind this is because of the fact that you have thousands and thousands of notes in mem, what you want to do is reduce the distance between the most important things you need to access, because otherwise you kind of end up, you know, in this rabbit hole of links, which is actually very useful in certain contexts, but can be kind of distracting when it comes to being productive. So the idea behind this is that we're going to set up a second brain that you can manage from within a single page where you can access everything that you need to access that is currently most important, but works just like a second brain. So you can think of as your command center. So you can manage your entire workday from within a single note. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create that specific note because that's the foundation of all of this. So what we're going to do here as we're just going to create that note. And so now we have this note, which is a link to our note here, so kind of seeing how the linking works within Mem, uh, if you're new to Mem. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a note that becomes the foundation of the second brain. Now, what we want to do is we want to set up projects. Now, a couple of different things you can do here. So I'm going to swap this again, and we can either set up projects as a link, or we can just set it up right here. So you can see here, I have a link for projects, which lists all of my current projects. So that's one option. And then basically the idea behind this, actually what's better here is that you can actually put future projects here and basically only have current projects in your second brain demo, but you can link to where all your major projects are. Alternatively, what you can do is we're just going to do this and we're going to call this projects. And so now we're going to go back to our demonstration step here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add links to the specific projects we're working on right from this page. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this over here. And then we'll have that, which will be ready to go. So you have project A and we'll go ahead and create project B. And as you'll see here, you can see that when you put the at symbol in front, you can basically just create a mem like that. So if you're typing, this becomes useful if an idea occurs to you and you just want to capture it. And we'll talk a second here about capturing ideas. So now you have your project A and project B. Let's just uh, set up a hypothetical project here. Um, and the cool thing here is we're just going to use MemSmart, right? So we have project B, which is really vague, but the cool thing here is we can use MemSmart right in edit. So I'm just going to say, make a hypothetical project plan. That includes objectives, tasks, and deadlines. Now, the cool thing about this is right now we're just doing a random project, but as you get more and more immersed in this and you have more and more information, you can actually use that information to plan your projects in this way. So for example, let's say that you're writing a book. You could say, okay, I'm going to write a book about X based on the knowledge inside of my knowledge base, generate a project plan. It won't be perfect, but the cool thing is you'll actually be able to start linking notes. So funny enough, you can see here that it actually used something that was inside of my knowledge base, giving me a idea for an ebook on lessons learned from podcast. Yeah. And the great thing about this is that I could actually complete this project in a really fast amount of time, simply because I already have all the information. in them. So now you've got two projects set up here, project A and project B uh, with objectives, tasks, and deadlines, but it's all still managed from here within the single note. So now we're going to go ahead and set up one last thing, which is our areas of responsibility. We can do the same thing we did with projects if we wanted to, but what we're going to do here is we're just going to use a header and it's going to live right here. And basically we'll just call this sample area of responsibility uh, number one. And so now you have your sample area of responsibility number one here, and we could put anything in here. This could be marketing, blogs, whatever, but now you have this. Now, of course you have your resources and archives, the idea here is that instead of having to go into the individual project mem, you can start your entire, you basically manage your entire day and link the most important things to one single note. So for example, let's just say this was a blog, you might have a list of tasks, like write blog post or record video tutorial 
Alternatively, you can actually just put the tasks inside of the single note second brain, uh, link to them, and then when you're done with them, you remove the links, which I, is what I have been doing in terms of the way that I'm managing this. And I've noticed that it actually makes it much easier to focus on the things that are really important uh, because of the fact that like you actually have so many different notes in here, they're all networked together and you kind of get lost in a rabbit hole. But what this does is it basically allows you to manage everything from within one note. Now, sometimes you're going to have resources that you use regularly. I have a mem titled resources. And the only resource that I don't link to this resources page is book notes, simply because I have so many of them that it, I literally would have to list the names of every single book here, which would take a long time. But you can see here that I have a list of all my resources and I can just access them anytime I need to. And they're all right here in this one page. What we're doing here is we're actually taking a workflow that's already incredibly streamlined because you can just search and we're taking it down to the point where we can access everything we need to from a single note. So that way you don't have to wonder, okay, where is this? Where is that? It's all right there. So I'm going to finish this up by showing you an example of my own. And the other thing we can do is we can add these things to collections. So for example, we don't have to necessarily create a areas of responsibility mem. We could just create a collection and everything that is within the areas of responsibility would be in that collection. And then we could just add that as a tag here. So anytime we wanted to access it, uh, it would then show up here. So let's, for example, look at something like this. Let's say we, I, I put in, for example, video into this as a, ha as a tag. Video is one of my areas of responsibility. So I'm just going to add it as a tag. And what you'll see here is that anything that is going to be in that video collection shows up here. So these are all the video tutorials that you've seen on my YouTube channel, all right there, all from within a single note. And those are the outlines for them. So now we have project A, project B, we've gone into resources. Now we're going to do one last thing. We're going to capture an idea here, some sort of you know, innovative idea. And this is where Mem really shines in terms of your ability to just capture ideas as they occur and, and revisit them later. So when you're writing something, often it sparks ideas for other things. So you basically could just say, okay, one of the things that's on your mind is this, you know, innovation, innovative idea for dog food or whatever. And you can just keep working within that note and you can say, like, why in the world did that occur to me? Because what often happens is we capture these ideas and we forget why we had them in the first place. The beautiful thing about this is if it's in the note that made you think of that, you kind of retrace your thought process back and say, okay, well, now that makes sense. I understand what it was about all that, that enabled me to do that. So let's go through the steps one last time. This is a way to make setting up your second brain in MEM incredibly simple and really fast. It's almost identical to the pair structure that many of you who are familiar with second brains are, are used to, which is just projects, areas, and responsibilities. The only difference is you're doing it all within a single note with where your projects, your areas, and your resources are all listed. So I'm going to show you what is now what I call my command center. And you can see here basically all that is here are all the things that I am currently working on. So for example, you can see here I'm working on some content plans, you're moving a, a website over. I have a couple of blog posts that I'm working on, as well as some stuff for a, the podcast and a case study generator for our course. So you can see here that basically anything that is the most important right now within this next couple of months is right here. So I actually can manage everything that I need to do inside of MEM within this single note. And that is the core idea behind building a no single second brain that you can manage all from a single note. Uh, as always, if there are any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.